Yo guys, what's going on? I'm back with another coding kit PvP plugin number two, and today we're gonna mainly do a listener. Um, we're gonna do a listener where you, um, where it gets rid of all the death drops. So like, you know, when you die, you drop all your items. Now get rid of that, and we'll get rid of the death message, and we'll disable hunger, and we'll do a little bit more things. So that's all we're going to do today, so we can set this up, and then next time, episode 3, we'll create our first kit, the PP kit. So let's get right into this. So first, right click on listeners, hit class, and let's call it death. And so now what we want to do is you do public class death, and then you want to um, hit the enter button, and then you hit implement listener. All right import listener and then what you want to do is main main all right and then you do public death main plugin and then open up another bracket this dot main equals plugin so that's just setting up this uh what's it called this this listener here and let's just import main from me dot main dot main not bucket org um, so this connects to the main so it can register it. So now let's go ahead and disable hunger. It's really easy. You do at event handler public void hunger. You know, just call it that. So food level, uh, what is it? Change, change event. And then E, open up a bracket, and then you want to do E dot set canceled true so basically it's just set canceling hunger so pretty easy there um, one of the easiest things to code right there so now what we want to do is disable the death message so this is what you really want so like at in every server they most servers disable the death message so you want to do at uh, event header public void let's call it disable death message and then what I like to do is it's just player death event event EV and then import that and on the event handler I forgot to do this you do priority priority equals event priority dot highest so basically what that does is sets the priority to the highest so like it's always disabling the death message so then you just do EVs the event death message null and that's all you have to do for the death messages so that disables it so now what we want to do is disable the drops when someone dies so what, what you want to do is the at event handler public void death drops and then player death event e open up some brackets and then you just do e dot get drops dot clear that's all you have to do and there's some other options like on my server I have it so that it drop they drop soup like 12 soup or so um, you can do that but you know not I guess we'll do that maybe later if we really need to so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask you guys for next episode I can also include this I don't know if you guys want me to code this yet um it's called like it's when you drop an item when you're PPing maybe you drop a s bowl to quick drop do you want uh, me to tell you how to code it so that it removes it after a certain amount of time so I can do that next episode so all you have to do is comment below and tell me if you guys want that because um, that's pretty important and so yeah you pretty much need that but uh, just comment below actually you know what I don't really care let's do it because it's important and you know it's just worth it so just do final item spawn event because you're spawning the item when you drop it Okay, open up some brackets, import item spawn event. Okay, so first what you want to do is if e.getEntity, 
dot get item stack dot get type equals so this is when it equals a bowl so because when you drop a bowl you want it to drop faster than any other item because they get annoying in your inventory so you want to get server dot get scheduler dot dot run task later this dot main new runnable alright so basically what this is doing is it's getting the material bowl and then this runnable and then this runnable here this like you know when uh, a timing thing is gonna make it disappear after a certain amount of time. So you do public void run, and then open up a bracket, and then you do e dot get entity dot remove. So that's removing the bowl, and maybe a few episodes away from this, we'll add the sounds to it. But for now, this is all you have to do, and then you have your bracket here and then another bracket and then you want to do comma f uh, let's do three s two seconds so that's 40 L um, and then do that so now now we want an else statement because any other item you don't want to be that quick so like you, if your sword drops you can get it back and stuff so you want to do e dot get scheduler um, let's just copy all this Da, da, da. And we don't need these brackets there. Okay. So then, just open up a bracket. Public void run. Open up another bracket. Then you do e dot get entity dot remove, just like like we we did up there. But this time, all you have to do is a longer time. So let's just do five seconds. And there we go. So now that gets rid of all the items when someone dies and when you drop an item. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please drop a like. And be excited for next episode when we're going to code our first kit. So please be excited for that. And, you know, thanks for watching, guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this was helpful to you all. And uh, so now we got this set up so stuff isn't laying around when we code our first kit and test it out on my test server and all that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, yeah, so we'll see you next time, guys. Peace!